I'm here at the Mesa Arena on Saturday night after the Beavers 4-0 win over Briarcrest. This is the Beavers' final game in the series with the Clippers that has lasted two weeks, which brings them 4-0 on the season. I'm here with Coach Ruggier. Coach, what do you have to say for the game? Um, you know, it was exciting. You know, we didn't play very well in the first period, and we made a few mistakes with just the way we handled our systems and the way we had our transition game. But our second period, the boys just were determined. They outworked them in a lot of uh, offensive zone situations and they were rewarded with their hard work and that's the exciting part and then all of a sudden you get a key defenseman Bob Pond who scores his first ever goal as a beaver and I'm, I'm just proud of the way he was able to jump in and be rewarded. And then um, what are your overall thoughts on the series just kind of seeing all the players especially focusing on the freshmen all the new guys that you haven't seen for a full year? Yeah, You know it, it shows that we got a lot of work to do we certainly have uh, some holes and mistakes and things like that that we need to fine-tune but uh, you know we're gonna have to be ready to go because in two weeks uh, 14th ranked UCO is coming and they're gonna be hungry and you know we beat them we knocked them out of the national tournament last year and so we're gonna have to be ready with uh, all teams, all guys playing in full cylinders, and that's going to be the exciting part. Moving forward, what are the key components that you want to work on? Um, just making sure we tighten things up on our D zone. You know, offensively, we know we can score goals, but defensively, we just need to make sure that we're in the right position. And, you know, even though we had back to back shutouts, you know, White had to make some huge saves for us because we had some breakdowns. And so we need to fine tune some stuff there and, you know, just work on some line combinations and then obviously work on our power play. We're going to really have to work on our special teams. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time, Coach, and congrats on the win. Thank you very much, Jamie. One of the goals came from second-year Beaver Bob Pond. So I actually have him here, and this is his first goal with the program. How does it feel to have your first goal kind of behind your back? Uh, it's really nice to get the first one out of the year, especially this year. I uh, scored one last year in Briarcrest, but it's nice to get another one this year for sure. Wade told me this was your first goal, so... Wade always wrong on that one. Scored once last year in Briarcrest. Oh, so she's your first home goal. Maybe that's what he meant. Are you going to score besides someone besides Briarcrest? I really hope so. I hope this is the start of something good this year. The biggest story of the series is the early success seen from the freshmen and players new to the program and the ACHA. 53 total points have been tallied thus far between goals and assists. Of that 53, 24 of them belong to freshmen and those new to the program, such as Williston State Transfer, Junior Transfer, Chase Nebranski, who netted a couple goals in the series. It's been nice uh, playing with some youth, having a lot more depth. It's not something that I'm used to playing with. Uh, my previous teams, you know, we were always juggling lines and stuff like that. It's nice to actually stick with a group of guys. Uh, you know, just helping the team win. I mean, points, you know, that's something that's going to come. I mean, I owe a lot of the credit to my linemate, Dwight Lee. You know, he's assisted on all my goals so far. And, you know, without him, you know, I'm not putting the puck in the back of the net. So a lot of credit goes to him and, you know, the rest of the guys on my team. That leaves 29 points left to the returners. Perhaps it was nerves of playing in front of the home crowd, but the newbies only tallied three points between the two home games at the Mesa. Captain Mike Jordan led the team to the 2-0 victory in the home opener by netting the first goal of the game seven minutes into the third period. My goal? Uh, well, actually, I went across to Harry, and he was skating in, and he tried a center lane pass to, to Mac, and Mac just kind of left it because he knew I was floating in there. And they both went with the other guys, and I was lucky enough, so I found on it and went five holes. So it was kind of lucky, but they all count. Uh, you know what? It wasn't our best game, but we found a way to win, and uh, it builds a lot of character for us. You know, at the start, I think lots of the young guys are a little bit nervous, and you could tell that everybody's a little bit tight before the game, so, so it helped that, uh, that we had a calming influence with our veterans, and Wadsey played really well for us tonight, and got a couple bounces at the end, so we're pretty happy with the win, but we know we got a lot more to give. The Beavers were picked number one in the ACHA preseason polls with 26 out of the 31 first place votes. Arizona was picked second with three first place votes. In general news around the ACHA, four new teams have been added to the Division I, making 58 teams that are competing in the 2013-14 season for the Murdoch Cup. Due to homecoming festivities, the Beavers are taking a week off from games and will pick up on the weekend of October 4th and 5th when the Beavers take on the 14th ranked UCL. This is also alumni weekend with the championship banner raising on Saturday night. Games are at the Mesa. Reporting for Beaver Hockey, I'm Jamie Council.